That was a long break, wasn't it? Welcome back. Signing day 2012 at Soonersports.com. I'm Chris Plank, and I'm proud to be joined by a guy that I make no bones about it is one of my favorite coaches on the <laughs> OU staff. Because in working the sidelines this year, what a great gift that was. But you watch James Patton, and there's never downtime, Coach. You're always coaching those guys, yeah. even when uh, it's before kickoff. So <laughs> it's like, didn't you get that all taken care of in the locker room? But a very committed offensive line coach. Coach, thanks for taking time to hang out with us. Sure, no problem, Chris. Uh, James, Sign first me. and foremost, you say I Adios to maybe one of the better left tackles in OU football history and Donald yeah, Donald. Donnie Stevenson. Mm -hmm. What did he mean to this program? Well, Donnie, just uh, an extremely talented player, you know, great athlete, uh, agility, quickness. And uh, he, was a, he was a great two-year starter for us. And uh, I think he'll have some chances here at the next level when it comes down to draft time and combine time and all that. So We were talking to Coach Stoops about the offensive line again. While there's always a need, you know, you always want to sure. add numbers and add depth, it seems like you have pretty good depth at that position to begin with. Yeah, Chris, we got a lot of experienced players. I mean, we lost Donald, who was a starter, and Stephen Good, who was a, you know, four-year player for us. But, uh, I mean, you look at the guys we got coming back. Of course, Lane Johnson was a first-year starter and started every game. And, and uh, uh, Darrell Williams, a young, a young player at tackle, who was a starting tackle before he got hurt. And... And then you got the guys inside. Gabe Eichert's first team all league player. Ben Habern started for, you know, three years. Uh, you know, Adam Shedd started four or five games for us. Tyler Evans will be a three year starter. I mean, there, there's a lot of experience. So, And uh, the left tackle position should be a fun one to watch next year to replace yeah. Donnie on that offensive line. Lane Johnson, I know, would be a candidate. We're going to talk about some sure. of the signees that might be in on that mix. We can never undervalue or underestimate the importance of the left tackle, can we, coach? No, you can't. Again, it's usually matched up against their best pass rusher, especially a right-handed quarterback and coming from the uh, backside. So, um, yeah, we need a really good player, uh, an athletic guy. And, again, you talked about Lane Johnson and some of the guys in the, you know, uh, like Will Latou in this yep. class. And um, so we'll see where it plays out. We'll get your overall thoughts. We're going to show you some highlights of the offensive linemen. But uh, health-wise, there was some concern. There's been a report about Ben Haber and Coach Howe's been doing. Is he going to be around for spring ball? Sure. I mean, he he probably won't go through spring ball, but he had a procedure done. And uh, the thing I say about Ben Habern is um, he's a great kid. He's one of the toughest kids I've ever coached. He came back from a, a break in his forearm, you know, probably two two weeks ahead of schedule this year. And so I you got no questions about his toughness and he'll be back. And it's amazing to think that Gabe Eichert so flawlessly moved from guard to sure. center. And it shows the athleticism and the diversity in the offensive sure. line coach where those guys are able to move around so flawlessly. Well, again, you know, you got to give those guys credit because, uh, you know, a, a guard should be able to play center and a center should be able to play guard because they're working together so much. And, uh, of course, like you said, with Gabe stepping in and just, just getting the timing of the snap and executing that. And, and again, those all those guys are snapping in practice and, even though they might not be getting physical reps. But, uh, yeah, you got to give credit to those young players we got, and they're doing, doing a pretty good job. Let's meet some more young players, shall sure. we? Sure. The signing class seems pretty set at the offensive line, and this is Ty Darlington out of Florida. Uh, Coach, what do we know about Ty? Well, you look at him right here. He's an athletic uh, lineman. Again, he loves to pull. He, he played he, their polling guard. Uh, their head coach, Rick Darlington, uh, his dad, is the head coach of the Popka. Great, great program down in Florida. Won a bunch of football games. Mom uh, was a former cheerleader here, Midwest City uh, family. And uh, But Ty is the number one in his class. And, uh, Valedictorian. Valedictorian. Yeah. Great kid. Um, again, a lot of similar qualities of Ben Haber. You know, it's a, it's a tough, I mean, smart guy. Loves football. Just uh, just great kid. Ty Darlington, there you see him, big pulling, number 79, yeah. getting outside. Look Man, look run. at that speed. Yeah, and he's physical. Look at him. <laughs> look at physicalness right there. Juco help from the uh, likes of Will Latou, That's who right. had Utah in his mix, but you guys went and got him. Sure did. Uh, Bruce Kittle did a great job recruiting him and uh, going out and seeing him and staying in touch, and Josh Heupel and, and obviously Coach Stoops. Uh, Will's a big, thick um, you know, uh, left tackle, really good feet. Um, you can see him right there cutting off on the backside. So, yeah, he, uh, he's, he's got a really bright future. He's got a two-year investment. And just like uh, Phil Oldholt came here a few, years, a few years ago and ended up being a, uh, you know, first pick of the second round. Uh, so, you know, Will's going to be in that same 
category. Here's another high school kid, John Michael McGee, 6'4", 275-pound offensive lineman out of Texas, Texas. Arcana. Yep, Texas High. Again, great program down there. Coach Barry Norton, look at him on the tackle eligible <laughs> screen. You think we're not going to want to put that play in? Now, I think he scored three or four touchdowns this year <laughs> on that. But but John Michaels uh, doesn't have maybe the size, the length right now, but look at his quickness and athleticism. Uh, again, he could play a number of spots, whether it's a you know a guy on the edge. You'd like to see him maybe be a little bit taller, but look at his, his feet and his bend and the quickness, and uh, he could play an inside. I know he played it, you know, could play a guard position or center. So, very uh, versatile lineman. When and we asked Coach Stoops this, he talked about John Michael's footwork. What yeah, are you look looking for, Coach? Whenever you see the film, which is, by the way, this is the same film that you looked at whenever you sure. were evaluating him. Sure. And again, he's a basketball player, so you see him on the basketball court move and and just the agility and the flexibility and the, you know the things that he has. Uh, that's that's what we look for, look for in linemen. You know, uh, it, it's been interesting. Kyle Morris is also a guy I know that we just got a letter of an sure. intent in not too long ago. I don't know sure. how much more in depth we can go with him, but another yeah. big six foot six guy. Yeah, Kyle played right tackle and down at San Antonio. Brandeis, big physical, uh, you know, really good run blocker. And, uh, you know, he, he might make the transition to guard inside, similar to like a Bronson Irwin who, who played tackle in high school and, uh, you know, is a big oh, physical is. guy inside. Yeah, big Kyle right here, played right tackle. and. Again, really, uh, really good program down San Antonio, Brandeis High School. And uh, so, yeah, we're, we're excited about Kyle. When you have a guy that's a right tackle as he was in high school, sure. Coach, do, do you pretty much just project him as a right tackle the next level? Or as you mentioned, can you move him to guard? Well, again, as you're recruiting big guys, big linemen, typically the, uh, you know, the, the, the better players are on the edge. A guy like Ty Darnton playing center or guard inside, he's their polling guard. He could play tackle. As a matter of fact, he did play tackle for him. Um, but those are the most versatile guys to, to us when we're looking at big guys. Now, the next guy we're going to show you isn't an offensive lineman, but the offensive line is the most important people <laughs> to this next individual because he's the number one recruit in the state of Oklahoma. His letter of intent just hit the fax machine. Alex Ross, coach, got to like his elusiveness. This is a kid sure. that I covered being from the Tulsa area at Jinx High School. Great program there with Alan Trimble and David Alexander sure. coaching their line. Great yeah, guys. Great guys. Look at the kid. Look at Alex Ross. I mean, he, you know, he's fast. He's a big back. Like you said, he has the agility and the, and the quickness to put his – look at him, pull his toe on the ground and go. Uh, you know, I know this. Out of having great running backs, it makes an offensive line look really good. You know, and, and, and having a guy, you know, our stable of tailbacks that we've had here with Coach Gundy and, you know, just uh, – it really, you know, gives your offensive line a lot of pride to block for those guys. And you see a guy that has speed like that, you realize, Coach, it doesn't take much. That's right. Find no, a crease. Just get a hats on hats and uh, and let them find creases. So uh, see him there in the slot. Too. Yeah, yeah, he can do a lot of things. And again, his speed and look at it. You know, he can get vertical and and uh, run through trash too, which is big, big, strong back. <laughs> Alex <laughs> Ross, one of the top recruits, if not the top, according to Rivals.com. In the state of Oklahoma, a kid who battled a couple of injuries throughout the season but is ready to go 100%. James yep. Patton is with us. As always, you can ask your questions at OU underscore football. We'll get to those coming up in just a bit. So go follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook as well. A lot of tight ends in this class. Do you sure. see any of those guys as a potential shift to the offensive line down the road? Well, again, we, we're in a need for tight ends. So, I mean, we need guys that can block the edge and uh, be a threat in the passing game. So, you know, um, there's been some transition before with, with guys, you know, that been in this program like a Gabe Eichert and, and uh, even Lane Johnson going from tight end to defensive end and a guy like Eric Mensick, yep. you know, who, who worked himself in the first team all Big 12 tackles. So, I mean, that, you know, there's, you know, that's sometimes just based on how the kids do when they get here and how they perform. They they kind of eat themselves into, you know, a tackle position <laughs> weight-wise and, uh you know, but uh, no, I think they're all going to be great tight ends for us. What's today's like? Uh, what is today like for you, Coach Patton? Well, I tell you, it's it's exciting. I mean, all the all the work, hard work you've put into going and, and recruiting these kids and seeing their families and and just uh, you know having great lines of communication with the kids. It's uh, to see it pay off for them, and uh, you just got to be proud of them. You know, they're they're the work they've done to get themselves to this point, and obviously come in and have great careers for us. 
give us a pretty good perspective. And I got to give a shout out to Brandon Meyer, who just gave me this awesome question back in the booth. <laughs> but what's the recruiting process, the evaluation process like? How much do you watch a guy, Coach Patton? How yeah. much do you really dive into their their makeup, their mannerisms, their family sure. life, their ability? Yeah. What makes you to decide that this is a guy that you're going to go after? Well, all that. I mean, that is the evaluation process. Again, you're looking at how they're doing school, you know, and again, all these guys are great kids, great students. And typically the high school coaches are going to tell you the same thing. Um, you know, they're great kids, they're great players for them. But, but really you have to in, do the investigation. You have to go uh, to the schools, talk to their counselors, uh, not just their football coaches, but counselors, um, obviously relationships with the family and parents and see what kind of homes they come from and just, just evaluate their work ethic, their competitiveness. Like I said, uh, John Michael McGee's a basketball player. You can see him on the basketball court compete. You know, and, uh, and and it's just, uh, yeah, there's a lot to it. And, and you got you just got to find the right guy, a mentally tough guy. And and, uh, and the skills, obviously, the, the athletic ability that we're looking for. All right, so we've had this deal going on on Twitter all day long at OU underscore football. We want your questions. The coaches are here to answer them. And Jonathan Solomon has a good question. You know, we looked at the offensive line prospects you signed, four guys total, included junior college, uh, sure. will the two. Do you foresee, asks Jonathan, any of your 2012 signees competing for immediate playing time? You know, I'd say a guy like Willa, too. Again, he's a, a junior college player. He's got a two-year window. He's got a, you know, a two-year investment right now. So when he gets to campus in the summer, um, he needs to make take advantage of every day, every day, every week. And, yeah, he, sh he should have a chance to, to, to make, an, a, you know, make an impact in our line this year. The other guys – probably going to be red shirted but that all works itself out based on how they come in and how they get ready for training camp and uh you know that could change just based on if they're the best players with that question congratulations to jonathan you win a pair of tickets to the ou red white game on april 14th courtesy of the OUIT store. We'll give away more tickets to fans who ask questions on our Twitter and Facebook page throughout the day. Remember, spring game tickets are on sale for just $5. You can purchase today right here at Soonersports.com or call 800-456-GO-OU. Overall, Coach Patton, before we let you run and get back to – well, you don't have to look at the fax machine anymore, do you? You're set for the rest of the afternoon. You can stay here with us. No, but there's always something to be done. Get ready for the 2013 kids. There you go. Yeah. How do you feel overall about the offensive line unit? It heading into spring ball well again we just we talked about again replacing a guy like donald stevenson at left tackle but uh to me we got a lot of great experience we got starting game playing experience you know of of again a guy you know all the guys inside um that have played and started for a couple years with that addition of adam shed and then at tackle you have again you know lane johnson who started pretty much every game last year you got Will the two coming in at left tackle. You got Daryl Williams, who was a starting right tackle against Tulsa the first game of the year and then got hurt and was slow coming off his ankle. You got Tyrus Thompson, who, again, is you know, going to be a second-year player. Um, so, again, there's, there's, there's great depth. The key is how hard they're going to work through the offseason here through spring ball and then as we get into fall camp. Coach Patton, thank you so much right, for coming by. We appreciate you, you man. Great right, stuff, buddy. and congratulations yep. on an awesome class. Thanks. That's James Patton. Hey, I want to remind everyone that you can relive the highlights, including the Florida State, Texas, and Inside Bowl victories with the official 2011 Sooner Football Highlight DVD, behind-the-scenes footage of the Sooners and the record-setting career of Ryan Broyles. That's going to be available beginning on February 14th right here at Soonersports.com. And also, don't forget, we're taking your questions at OU underscore football all day long on Twitter and also on our Facebook page as well. Stick around. Mike Stoops is coming up next as we get you ready for the finalization of the 2012 recruiting class here at Soonersports.com.